Okay, we first told you about Portland Fire and Rescue's new overdose response team last month. Now, just weeks after the pilot rollout, firefighters say that team is already making a difference. Going beyond the headlines tonight, Joel Jones got to ride along with that team today to show us exactly what they do. In just one 10 hour shift, the two person chat team says they respond to between six and 10 calls. And as they're focused on these overdoses and other low acuity calls, as you're about to see here in just a moment, it really frees up firefighters who up until now say they've been overwhelmed with the number of overdoses. We've been going out and catching all kinds of overdoses and saving people literally. A two person pilot team tackling overdoses in the downtown core at the center of Portland's drug crisis. Here's another hot spot. We find people down right over here, Fourth and Davis, often. The team is launched out of Station One, which serviced almost a third of the city's overdose calls last year. Less than a month after Portland Fire and Rescue launched the overdose response pilot, they say the Community Health Assess and Treat, or CHAT Team One, is already lightening the load. As responders, you know, we're just very hopeful that we're, we're already starting to see the relief on the fire crews, right? We're seeing even relief with, you know, AMR, and that, I think, continues to fuel uh, the mission in which we're doing right now. About an hour into our ride along, we watched in real time as the chat team took on a medical emergency at an addiction treatment center in Old Town. The EMT and paramedic duo jumped into action to help the man struggling to breathe, allowing them to then wave off the fire engine, freeing up the rig for other calls. We're in a, as you can see, a smaller rig than the big fire trucks and engines. It's just more appropriate. We can get there faster. The change has been very evident when they're here, and we definitely see it when they're when they're not here. Portland firefighter and paramedic Grant Kelly says the extra help is a major relief. As he told us last month, his team was running nearly 35 calls a day. They've been able to take those calls that come in during the, the hours that they're here off of our off of our hands, which kind of free us up. Chat says they have more time to build rapport with people and connect them to services, even helping launch a pilot to provide medication for opioid use disorder next week. We were running into that frequently, people who want to quit using. They never meant to use in the first place, but now they can't stop. And because they feel sick, they feel scared, they get all sorts of reasons after when they're withdrawing. This mitigates the withdrawal symptoms. Now this pilot program is slated to run for six months and if it's successful and they can secure more funding, we're told this could be rolled out to other parts of the city. That's something that we're told is needed. Chat paramedics say, you know, these overdoses don't stop happening after they go home at night. Reporting in Portland tonight, I'm Joelle Jones, Quinn 6 News.